I remember that she was strong. She loved her children. Um, she was terrified that he was going to kill her. Clark County Prosecutor Lauren Boyd said Tiffany Hill had several reasons to fear her estranged husband. Keeland Hill, seen here in this video from Clark County Superior Court, was accused of stalking and abusing Tiffany. On top of that, he had violated no contact orders and tried illegally to buy a gun. I believe the state believes that if the defendant is released, he will kill the victim. That's Boyd speaking at the November 15th appearance. Minutes later, via a written statement read aloud in court, Tiffany weighed in too. That he's going to kill me if he's given the opportunity. I beg you to not allow him to get to me and my children. Um, I have no family here, nowhere to go. We have no money and nowhere to hide from him. He's made sure of that. Thank you. Boyd then requested the judge, John Fairgreave, raise Keeland Hill's bail from $75,000 to $2 million. She knew it was a tough ask. Why'd you go in requesting what you did? I was trying to prevent him from bailing out of jail. Um, his actions leading up to that hearing, specifically that he tried to purchase a firearm, that he installed a GPS tracker on her car, is terrifying. It was escalating very quickly. Judge Fairgreave split the difference, setting bail at $250,000. Within one week, Keeland Hill posted bail. Within two, he found Tiffany in the parking lot of a local school, and authorities said shot her in her car in front of her three kids before killing himself. I, I was devastated. I am devastated. Um, this case and this victim will be with me for the rest of my life. Keeland Hill also injured Tiffany's mother, who spoke at a vigil this weekend. I tried to save my baby. I came home here to break a home with me and the kids. I knew something was wrong and going on. Boyd knew too. So today, she spoke I out. I think that um, the way that we handle bail in these dangerous domestic violence cases needs to change. I think that if somebody is has a no contact order preventing them from having a firearm because of a domestic violence issue and they try to purchase a firearm, the law should say that they aren't entitled to bail and they should just be held without bail. Tonight, family, friends and a prosecutor are reeling, all of them having just watched a tragic prediction come true. Our hearts go out to her family. Again, Judge John Fairgreave is the one who, during this appearance here, set Keeland Hill's bail at $250,000, which Boyd says in her mind is high given the charges and the fact that Hill didn't have a record. We did reach out to Judge Fairgreave yesterday and today for comment, but he declined. We also spoke to a legal expert about this who noted that per state law, there is no set standard or minimum bail in these kinds of cases. Guys.